Blessings. Today we're going to talk on the spirit of depression. And this is a spirit that we really need to deal with, ladies, because I see a lot of women walking around confessing to be Christians, confessing to be the wom a woman of God, but they're on depression medication. They're, they're depressed, they're sad, they're gloom, they're doomed. Every time you see them, they're down, they're out, and they're talking about what they can't do, what what they going through, how they're feeling. And don't get me wrong, ladies, I understand and know that we all go through things and we all deal with things. But I just have a problem with that. When you say you're a woman of God, praise God, I just can't see how you can have the Prince of Peace living down on the inside, praise God, and, and, and that's able to keep you, that's able to give you joy joy in the holy ghost praise god no matter what your circumstance or situation is you need to get to a point and to a level in your spirit to where you can just trust god stand on his word and no matter what you go through no matter what you deal with no matter what situation circumstance you're in just always know that if you have the prince of peace living down on the inside praise god call out to him call out for your help all your help should come from the lord and when we look at the word depression, it means low spirits, a condition marked by hopelessness, self-doubt. And I remember back before I got saved uh, years ago, um, before I even got saved, how I was living out in the world, world of sin, wrapped up in fornication, wrapped up in in, in all kinds of junk and garbage. And um, I remember I was uh, going through a depression stage and... Um, I used to come in from work and I was living with my mom at the time and I used to come in from work and um, I was going through so many different things and I couldn't wait to come home and get in that bed. And that's why I have a picture of a bed on here because we seem the, the spirit of depression seemed to drive us to that bed, ladies. It seems to want to just make us lay down in that bed and wallow and 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 and. and and disgust and what I can't do I'm just tired and there's no hope and 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 the word depression like I said it says um, marked by hopelessness but our hope should lie in Jesus Christ praise God but I understand a woman of God who's suffering from depression who don't have the Prince of Peace and even if you have the Prince of Peace and even if you are saved today woman I'm here to restore your hope hope in jesus christ know that the god that you're preaching about you're talking about you're quoting scriptures about you're posting on facebook about and praise god let him be your hope let him be your joy hallelujah let him deliver you praise god let him heal your heart hallelujah you know i, I like i said back to my testimony um and I remember I would go in my room, lock my door, and I would turn my radio on, um, on the sad music, you know, um, you know how it is, women, when you're going through a situation, circumstance, you're out there fornicating anyway, the man don't belong to you, but you out there, and, and he running around sleeping with you and whoever else that I have him, and, and you get depressed, you get sad, and you wonder, well, why am I not good enough, you know, what did I do wrong, and, you um you just feel a, a state of a hopelessness and and you feel sad and you feel gloomy you feel doom and i remember feeling that way and um like i said that was before i knew the lord and um i would take a tylenol pm every night and if for you all who know what a tylenol pm is it's, it's a pill and it makes you drowsy, makes you sleep. It's supposed to be like for aches and pains. But I didn't have any. If I had any ache and pain, it was definitely not physical. It was in my spirit. And I was just sad and broke down, busted and disgusted. And I remember taking, I started off taking two a night. And I would be so zonked out and I would sleep all day, all night, you know. And just didn't want to get out of that bed. And, and you know, and um, I remember... Um, I had gotten up to like 7, 7 p.m. a night, hallelujah. And I look back over my life right now, and I just thank God that even in my mess, hallelujah, how he was faithful, how he kept me, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He kept me because those Tylenol PMs, if you read the back of the bottle, they can cause some very, very hard side effects. And um, 
I was just, I had gotten up to like seven a night because you know once you take two, it's like a person on crack or like a person that smoke a lot of weed, move on up higher to a little crack. You gotta get that higher because once you start off on a level of two Tylenol PMs, and then after you take that for a while, your body, your immune system, and your body get used to it. So you got to move up a little more so that you can get a little more higher. And I had gotten up to seven, and I remember going to the drugstore and um, charging some Tylenol PMs on my mom's account. And, and thank God that the um, pharmacist had called my mom and told my mom that um, he was concerned because I was coming in there not getting the small bottles, but the big bottles of Tylenol PMs, it seemed like to him every week. And not that I wasn't paying for it because I was, but he was concerned because um, I was buying them so much. And... Um, my mom had came and she talked with me about it and I said, yeah, I'm, I'm taking them. And um, she said, you know, they're not good for your body and you can cause damage. And I'm telling you, I, I remember continuously taking them, continuously taking, but it wasn't nothing but the power of God. And like I said, God was dealing with me then, but I wasn't even saved. But I remember uh, just one day I just had no desire for him. I had no taste for him, no desire for him. And um. And the Lord totally took the taste, the desire, and everything out of my out of my spirit, out of my mouth. I just didn't have no desire for Tylenol PM. And then I remember going on and going on, and I got saved, praise God, got saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. And you know what, ladies? I just want to encourage you today that you don't have to turn to drugs. You don't have to turn to alcohol. You don't have to turn to sex. You can turn to Jesus Christ. He will deliver, he will heal, and he will make you free. We do not have to walk around here being depressed, being sad, staying in that bed, not living life. Because Jesus Christ, I come to give you life and life more abundantly. If you don't have him today in your life, ladies, let me tell you something. There is no bad side effects with Jesus Christ's blood washing you clean. But there is bad side effects to alcohol, bad side effects to drugs, bad side effects to promiscuous sex. So you need to know today ladies that we serve a God that is able to heal that is able to deliver and that is able to set the captives free I was captive in my mind I was captive in my spirit but I thank God today that I have the joy of the Holy Ghost and I have the Prince of Peace living down on the inside of me praise God and I don't have to take no depression pills to go to sleep you take those pills women and the only thing they do is make you high you go to sleep you wake up the problem that you went to sleep with is still there hallelujah you. you waste your money you ruin your body because they cause bad side effects and then you got to turn around and take medicine to cl try to clear clear that up and it's still the problem and the situations are still there nothing can cleanse you nothing can purge you like the blood of jesus christ of nazareth and i just want to say today this late today ladies to encourage you if you are dealing with the spirit of depression turn to jesus christ if you are already saved and holy ghost filled Cry out to the Lord Jesus to save you, to deliver you, hallelujah, because he is ready, willing, and able to deliver. And I thank you today for, um, I just thank you for all the subscribers. I don't know who you are, but, um. I thank you for listening to my recordings because all I want to do is get the word of God. All I want to do is to encourage the ladies of God that God is able to heal, deliver, and make you free. I want to give you the truth and nothing but the truth because it is the truth that will make you free. It's not about me. It's not about trying to get a name for myself. It's trying to get the gospel out and it's trying to see, I want to see women saved. I want to see women delivered. I want to see women healed. Hallelujah. I want to see your spirits healed. Praise. Praise God. I want you to be able to walk in the power of the Holy Ghost that God has called and chosen for you to walk in, women of God. Women of God, you are special to the Lord today. You do not have to walk around here with your head down. You do not have to walk around here being depressed, but you can enjoy your life, your life in the Lord, praise God, because he came to give you life and life more abundantly. Live and enjoy that abundant life in Christ, women of God. I love you today, and I pray that something that I said bless you and encouraged you to let you know that you can move forward on, women of God, in the spirit of God. May the Lord bless you and may he continuously, continuously keep you.